what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i'm just here chilling in uh the home office uh, i'm not messing with none of this cold and what's going on lately um i want to just talk a little bit about in general not just about the holding company but what's about going on in the world with the stimulus it's i don't know if you guys really see what i see but what I see is if you just set up a corporation, um, holding company or operating company, it gives you more borrowing power than if you just borrowed money in your own name. You know, and I kind of knew this, but it's like really hitting me really strongly now. Because what I did is I got the EIDL, but I got it in a sole proprietorship. I wasn't set up properly to get the PPP and the EIDL. So I just did it as an independent uh, Uber driver. And I did get it, but if I was set up properly, if I already had my holding company, I didn't get my holding company until much later. Um, uh, I want to say I had my holding company for about four or five months now. So it was right after the pandemic started. That's when I decided, okay, let me put some money it says holding company and um i'm so glad i did it but i just wish i had it set up before the pandemic you guys got to start thinking more corporate you have to start thinking more corporate <laughs> excuse me it's going to save you with lending even if you have bad personal credit you could do this stuff you can actually set up a holding company with bad credit, completely horrible credit, slowly over time. And it's not that slow as you may think, but you're talking maybe four to six months at the most. You could do this, build up your credibility through your business and actually borrow 100, 150, 200,000, you know, between credit cards and lines of credit. So the stuff is doable. I'm going to show you and prove it to you on this channel. The stuff is doable. If you go back to my older videos, I've already got proof. I've already got receipts, guys. So it's not like I don't know the stuff works. It's just I had a business that I accumulated a lot of corporate credit. Some things happened. Uh, I defaulted on some of that. But now I'm rectifying everything by starting a whole new corporation. Um repairing my personal credit so 2021 guys it's a new time for me it's a new beginning you know i'm gonna bring put my holding company in a position where it's gonna own several smaller operating company all generating revenue and then i'm gonna be able to do stuff like have one corporation actually rent my next place where i reside at i'm gonna have my a corporation set up just to rent from my other corporation that owns the property. This is the type of stuff we're talking about on this channel with holding companies and corporate credit. Merging it too. You know, actually three if you include personal credit. I would try to work on all three. But if you're in a position where you have bad personal credit, corporate credit can get you out of the hole. It is possible. I used to in the past, I was like, you can't even get business credit without personal credit, but now I see different. You can actually build up enough corporate credit and then go back and repair your personal credit. Now you have the ability to, to guarantee some stuff so you can get more lines of credit with the personal guarantee at that point. And now you have enough borrowing power to go purchase something to actually get your business going. Like if you're in transportation, you can go next year, especially you're going to be able to purchase very inexpensive vehicles, put them on higher car Toro. You want to start your own car rental business. You know, this stuff is all going to be possible and I'm going to prove it to you guys. And if you don't believe, go back and watch my earlier videos. When I uh, earlier videos, when I accumulated all this corporate credit for Chennai business. 
It's just I went through a lot. I'm not going to say I'm not human. I'm not going to say I didn't make mistakes. Disclaimer for you new people. I am not a financial professional. You know, I consider myself a business consultant. But I'm not a financial pro uh, professional, meaning I am not a, you know, uh, a lawyer, uh, accountant, you know, or nobody that really legally you should be following for financial advice. This channel's for entertainment purposes only. But I do show receipts as a business owner that you can build up corporate credit. What I did not do in Ch with Chennaiya Business when I first started this journey is I didn't know about the holding company. Had I known about the holding company, what I would have done is had a original holding company owning Chennaiya Business. And then when things went left, I could have moved a lot of money up to my holding company legally, you know, but I wasn't prepared, but now I'm prepared. I have a holding company. I'm probably early next year going to come out with my first holding company course. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to do that on another channel. I'm thinking about possibly putting that on another channel and offering that course on a whole nother channel, you know, but you'll build up, you'll get the offer here on this channel as well, but it'll be under another company name. It will not be under Chennai Business. So just be clear that Chennai Business, I'm just gonna take the channel itself, not reincorporate it, you know, I'll probably come up with a whole nother media LLC operating company to physically own Shania business, or I was thinking about just putting this right under my holding company. You know, my, my holding company is in Wyoming, so I could just literally take this channel, put it under that holding company, and then create a whole new media channel later to hold my next YouTube channel that I really want to promote to be bigger and better than this channel. You know, I want the stunning intro. I want the uh, nice edited videos. I want my name in the corner of the video saying, you know, Will Bland is CEO. That's the type of media channel or media company I'm going to build early next year. You know, it's no rush for that. So really what this video is, what I want you to get out of this video is if you're struggling right now and you're just a regular person, you're struggling with this pandemic and not having, you know, no real money there, you're going to have to spend a few dollars to get this going, but it, it's as simple as actually getting your EIN, which you can get for free, setting up a website you can practically do for free, you know, a few bucks, you know, for the domain and the hosting, um, a 1-800 number, you know, and you could be on your way to having a real corporation that you can eventually build some corporate credit on. Now, if you want to streamline the process and you have about $1,000 to spend, you can actually pay professionals to do this. They will not build your corporate credit, but they will set you up a legal structure, holding company or operating LLC legal it'll be 100 percent legal and then you can contact somebody like me and i can show you the steps on how to build the corporate credit and yes there will be a fee um right now because of the pandemic i used to charge three believe it or not three thousand dollars to build up your corporate credit but because of people falling on hard times and i know how it is i'm only going to charge you two thousand you know, it's $500 for per month. If you want to bill it out, you know, per month, I will be willing to work with some people on that. Um, but it's going to cost you a little bit more if you make me break it up as opposed to paying, the, you know, the two grand. Because I'm going to add uh, fees on that $500 a month to, so it's going to be more like 550 a month, you know, to cover breaking it up like that. So two grand and you paid a law firm that I will connect you with. 
it's going to be anywhere from like seven fifty to a thousand dollars a month for them to actually come up with the legal structure. And they're the professionals. You can ask them questions like, "Should I do a corporation, S corp?" And you just tell them what your company's based around. They'll give you that information. You come to me. I'll help you build out the corporate credit. And like I said, you watch some of my older videos. I have proof to show that I've done it in the past and I'm going to do it again this year. It's just I got lazy and I hired a company to do it for me while I was living my, my life the past four or five months. And they're just now at the position where they can um, start applying. But because of the holidays, I'm delayed till January. So I'm going to wait till January, but I'm actually going to start applying on my own for some uh, uh, some new information on some banks that I found. Just having a website, my Dunn's number, the 800 number, I can apply, um, get a soft pull on my personal credit, and it'll be just business credit. So I'm not going to wait for them for January. I'm going to start getting going now. You guys got to be driven like that. You guys always got to be on the grind, always got to be in a hustle, always looking for government funding. There's a lot of companies um, through SBA. You go to SBA.gov and you will see that once you get those things in place, your website, um, your 1-800 number, your EIN, all the stuff you need. To lay down the foundation of your company, you can actually put that information in the SBA site and a lenders will start calling you. This won't be any, uh, no, uh, stimulus stuff. This will just be strictly for new businesses. So you could literally be a new business, you know, only a few months old and start applying for credit grants. So it is possible. I'm applying right now. I'm in the trenches applying for credit because my, like I told in a previous video, my emergency fund's getting low. So I'm constantly grinding, looking for new grants, looking for new funding for my business. And you guys got to be driven the same way. But it is possible to do this stuff with just your EIN, you know, your corporate structure, you know, and a website. So thank you guys for your time. I want you please keep continue supporting the channel. Check the links below this video. It's got a lot of good information about Zetegrity. Um, I'm going to be doing a video uh, about Zetegrity's uh, Black Table program again because apparently uh, Troy Mason saved the day supposedly again with the uh, the Black Table program. So look for that video. Subscribe, like, and comment. Click the bell icon so you get notified when I put out another video. And I'll catch you guys next time.